bounds. Hey guys, hello and welcome back here at Let's Show Minecraft Real Life Mode. Yeah, and this is the update showcase for version 0.2. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you guys for awesome 560 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It just rises so fast, 30 new subscribers per day. It still grows from day to day, so I get more and more subscribers from day to day, and this is so awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, and now let's see what is new with this update. So, uh, first of all, I will show you all the new, amazing, important, awesome, whatever stuff. So blocks and everything. And then I'll show you some fixes. So let's go straight into it. Open this door. Walk, 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 walk. Bam! Look at this. It lags so much. Oh my god. I'm gonna turn down the render settings. And like this and like that and as you can see we have a new fir tree in the mod yeah and this fir tree isn't a normal fir tree it isn't normal for minecraft anyway but you can chop it down so let's chop this down it will lag the first time when you chop and then it will lay on the ground like this and now if you chop another tree it won't lag but it will fall to its side on the floor. Yeah, so that is the new fir tree. Now, the second thing that comes with this update is this advertising billboard. Yeah, because uh, uh, the mod isn't compatible with servers, uh, with servers at the moment. I'll work on it. Uh, you can't use this advertising billboard on servers. But you can advertise for everything you want. So this is an example image. You'll just have to uh, draw an image with GIMP or Paint.net or or Photoshop or anything, and put it into the mods, into the mod file and in the asset slash images folder. So if you click on this, you will see this guy's screen appear and. Uh, if you have more than one image in the folder, you will be able to switch between these images. So, you can now advertise in Minecraft. Yeah, so let's go over to the next thing, which is turning off these bloody creepers, because I hate them. So, yeah, now let's go inside. And where do I have a sideboard? Do I have a sideboard in here? No, I haven't. So go into the furniture tab and because I'm using Optifine you can't see the 3D item in the inventory but as you can see we have a brand new sideboard here and we can right click on it and this will appear so you can store your stuff into this sideboard and you can even exit the world and this stuff is still in the sideboard so as you can see we can put it out here and we have our dirt block again now so what I updated also is the toilet and the bank so let's go on to the toilet go into game mode zero and as you can see the temperature rises and we uh, don't have to go on the toilet so I'm gonna run away and show you some other stuff I updated for example I added an official credits page but uh, I won't show it to you because I showed it in the last video and I would have to exit this world. So we have to go on the toilet now. So go in here, click on this toilet. And as you can see, we now sit on the toilet. And we're jumping a little bit and now our toilet bar is empty again. So fully usable toilet. And then I added some new items. And these new items you can find in the creative tab for tools so as you can see I also updated the VIP item uh, the WIP items so all work in progress stuff has this nice yellow uh, work in progress sign now so I added a chainsaw and some binoculars so they aren't usable at the moment but the chainsaw uh, chainsaw will of course be able to cut down trees 
Uh, what else? For what do you use a chainsaw? Yeah, chainsaw massacre, perhaps. But no. And yeah, the binoculars will be just usable as this Optifine zoom, but with a bit more options. So, yeah, adjustable zoom factor and stuff like that. So, um, there is one. Nah, not one, one yet. Yeah, two things to show you. So, the first thing is this RPG. As you can see, the rendering is updated, it is rotated properly because it was rotated the wrong, uh, it was facing the wrong direction first. And the player, if it would be the Minecraft player, he would hold it on his shoulder. Also, yeah. So, and now let's go for the last thing in this video, which is the fixing of all 3D items. If you have, haven't got Optifine installed. So, without Optifine, you would see only items and blocks in here without missing textures or anything. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, leave a like. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, I do daily Minecraft videos in uh, on German and on English. So, uh, it would be cool if you could subscribe. And yeah, we'll see us in the next video, which will be uploaded tomorrow. See ya!